Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. Welcome back to another Oblivion tutorial type video. And in this one I'm going to tell you guys, give you guys some tips about a hand-to-hand -hand fighter in Oblivion. That guy who doesn't use a knife, or a bow, or a mace. Just these. These bad boys. And let me tell you, the first and biggest tip that I could tell you is unless someone else is punching at you, don't block. Whatever you do, all right, just think logically. Fist versus sword. Not gonna work, all right? Instead, what you wanna do is punch him and back off, and punch him and back off, all right? That's what you're gonna do. Also, this class is assuming you're not using offense magic. You're just solely using fists. So put that out. So, first of all, you punch and you back off, you punch and you back off again. If you paralyze someone, beat the crap out of them while they're on the ground. That's pretty much it for the combat side. Armor is something that it's very controversial in Oblivion, apparently. You have the zealots that like to be all buff. I can't make a buff thing. Um, there. Yeah, I'm buff. And you have the light armor people that just dash around. Then you have the no armor people that say enchanted clothes are better. It is my opinion that as a hand-to-hand -hand fighter, either clothing or light armor is better. You need to be fast. But light armor gives you a little bit of protection in case you mess up. You're just going to be slower. So, you know, the range that someone needs to be so that you can't go in and out, they you know, they can just be a slower character. You're going to be slightly slower with that armor on. Also, make sure you don't have a shield equipped because you can't use it unless you have a torch out. I mean, I think. No, no, no. Torches in your left hand. That's Skyrim. But, yeah. So, light armor or clothing. Enchantments really... You want to do as much damage as you can, because hand-to-hand -hand already sucks in that game. So, upgrade, like, strength and hand-to-hand -hand a lot. A lot. Assume that you're not going to get hit, so don't waste points on protection or alteration. For magic, I mean, really... Rest, I would do restoration, honestly, to bump your hand-to-hand -hand skill and your speed. Specifically, those two. You can also use potions for that with alchemy. Also... Don't forget you need to heal. Like, I don't know why, but... I mean, at this point in Oblivion, it's a natural reaction for me. I just do it mindlessly, but... I know some people forget to heal, and it's really cringy to watch. But anyways! We're moving on. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Um, actually, a good skill for a hand-to-hand -hand person is conjuration, because hand-to-hand -hand is really, really fast. And if you conjure up something that the enemy could beat the crap out of, then you could beat the crap out of the enemy, right? So you conjure up a skeleton, the... They're busy swinging the skeleton, and you're just going, and then they you paralyze them, they go on the ground, and pow. Paralysis is also, if you can't tell, very, very, very important spell for this class, if you ever want to use a hand-to-hand -hand fighter. You can also use silence, of course. Always, I usually try to always carry a silence and a paralysis-type weapon, unless I just don't care, and I just make a badass who can kill everything, then eh, whatever. And then uh, that's pretty much it that you can do. I mean, you can sneak around. Sneaking is probably important. You know, just sneak pickpocket so that you can take people's weapons. Right? I don't even know if you can do that in Oblivion. I know you can do it in Skyrim, which is mind-blowing. But with hand-to-hand, -hand, it it's a skill in Oblivion and Skyrim, and I think Morrowind too, that really just is underutilized. There's so much you could do with it, like... Whether you punch him in the face or the stomach, whether you have a palm or a fist or a, you try to poke him in the throat, right? You know, light, heavy attacks that are in all our RPG games where you elbow someone in the face, whether they have armor on so you actually, like, your hand gets hurt when you punch so you have to put armor on. If your armor... I used to think gauntlets helped you block stuff, but they don't. I wish they did. You know, it's little things like that. So with hand-to-hand, -hand, there's the one play style, which is you punch, you back off, and you punch, or you paralyze, or you distract, and beat the shit out of them. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm kind of disappointed in this video because hand-to-hand -hand is crappy, but a fun skill to mess around with. Let me tell you, ooh, so much fun. So that's it. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next Oblivion tutorial, video, live stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.